bad boy, baby. Yeah. 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 The life that I lived was very tough for me and for the other people that were in the gang. Like, gang members would tell you, oh, you gotta do this, and if you don't do this, you get minutes. Um, minutes are like a beat down, like you get a minute if you don't steal a car, you get two minutes if you don't sell drugs. So usually the other gang members beat you, and you belong to them. I got involved in the gangs because of the sense of belonging. I was one of those kids that didn't belong to anything, like no kids clubs or anything. So I thought the street life would be better for, for me. Like I was making mad money and it was not only selling weed, I was doing other stuff like selling coke and like had the ladies on the street and stuff like that. And it, it, it made me money, but you know, like half the money that I had, had to go to the uh, gang leader. So I really didn't have that much money. Like, he would take half of what I got and I choose the gang over my family because my family wasn't really there when I was a kid. Like, so my mom was always gone. My sister was in the gang. I had a brother that lived with uh, one of my grandmas and another brother that lived with me. So me and him, we both got down into the gang at the same time. Oh, I stole, I must have stolen about 15, 20 cars. Uh, I beat up about 20 people in my life just for no reason. My life's different now. I'm helping kids, you know, realize that there's more opportunities out there besides the gangs, besides the drugs, besides going out there and stealing and doing all that stuff. And, um, I ended up in Dojak. Uh, went to Dojak for about a week. It's just an odd place where you want to be. I've been away from that life for about eight years. I had this one kid want to join a gang. And he came to my gang seminars and he wanted to talk to me one-on-one. -on -one. Mm -hmm. So I sat down, I talked to him one-on-one, -on -one, and I told him what I did and what I had to go through. And now the kid's not even, like, he didn't even want to join the gang after that. So, yeah, the drug involvement, you know, I did it all. I've tried cocaine, mm -hmm. I've tried ecstasy, I've tried it all. Like, you know, I've never, never, ever put a needle on my arm, though. Never. I've never do that in my life, ever. That is so gross. And I knew some pretty girls out there they're not pretty because of the drugs the drugs took over their life you know i all i can tell them is you know bro you're gonna end up in jail one day and you know that's gonna be it for you people are gonna be on you you know people are gonna be you're my bitch you know stuff like that you know make you do gross things in jail guy mm -hmm. i don't want to see that like, i don't want to see that none of my friends mm -hmm. going to jail <laughs> mm -hmm.